Where should you store your digital photos? There are just too many options out there fighting for your attention. I get why it's so confusing. Well, let me make the choice a little easier with the lowdown on permanent.org, a permanent photo storage solution designed to protect your precious memories. I get it. You want a place to put all of your digital photos and you want to make sure you make the right choice. You may have seen this other video up here about the best cloud storage for your photos, but I have a new one to add to the list, permanent.org. But why should you use permanent.org as your digital photo storage? Is it right for you? Well, let's have a look at this unique photo storage option and check out my big watch out on one of the features you can use in permanent.org so you don't cry over a load of wasted time. What is permanent.org? Well, permanent.org is a non-profit photo storage platform dedicated to safeguarding your digital memories. Their goal is to provide reliable long-term storage for your photos and files, ensuring they are protected for generations to come. What makes it different is that they are non-profit. So permanent.org's focus is on providing sustainable and secure platform for your digital legacy and not so much about the money. They use advanced security measures to protect your photos and other digital content. But most importantly, you control who can access your files and how they are shared. The platform offers features for community engagement, such as sharing memories with others, which is so important as I am all about the sharing. How to use permanent.org. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is to create an account on permanent.org on the website or download the app. Once you've signed in, you can start uploading your photos and other digital files into one of three areas, private, shared, or public. On the app, press the plus sign and then say that you want to upload some photos then navigate to either the images or videos on your phone that you want to upload. Then you just press upload and it will upload into your permanent account. On the web, you can either drag a whole folder of photos and drag and drop them into the area where you want, or you can just select to upload. You can organize them into albums, folders for easy access so you can keep your stuff organized how you like it. If you are into a bit of tagging, permanent.org allows you to tag and add metadata to your images for easy searching. However, check out my little con on this a bit later on. You can share your photos and albums with others by sending custom links or inviting them to your albums. You can also use the search function to quickly find specific images or albums, especially if you've done a bit of tagging. The pros of permanent.org. The biggest pro for me is something that a lot of photo storage apps struggle with, which is the designation of a legacy contact for when the time comes. Most are about getting access than having to manically download all of your photos and close the account. But with permanent, this is something they have got totally right. You can set a legacy contact, which will then enact your archive wishes. If you're into tags and metadata, you can go wild with a bit of tagging, but check out one of the cons before you go totally crazy. Another big pro for me is how easy it is to share your photos through permanent.org. It is as simple as creating a folder to share and there it is. You can even make something public if you want the whole world to see your photos. Obviously nothing is perfect. And as it always is with these kind of services, there is a cost. But why am I saying this is a pro? Well, my friend, this is different. None of this messy subscription stuff. You pay $10 per gigabyte once and only once. You are one and done. So you only pay for what you use. None of these random gigabyte levels and you only pay once. Nice. The cons of permanent.org. Now, not to be a cynic here, but will anything ever be forever? We thought the CD was going to be forever and who has a CD drive anymore? So I would highly doubt anything is really going to be forever. So I find it hard to totally buy into the permanent storage message. But even if it is just for right now, it is a pretty great service as you only pay for what you actually use. Also, as this is about cloud storage, you will need to have access to the internet to access your photos. Nothing is actually on your computer or device. So another hard drive backup might be a good idea to keep everything safe and if you want to access stuff offline. Another con, and this is a pretty big one for anyone who loves metadata and tagging. 
Remember I said you could have all the fun you like in permanent.org with metadata and tagging? Well, yes, you can. But if you try to download any of that work with your photos, it will not come with your photos. It will stay stuck in permanent.org. So not great, but maybe that will change with time. Fingers crossed. My view of permanent.org. Permanent.org is a fantastic option for securing your digital memories long term. It offers peace of mind, knowing your photos and files are safe, and the platform's user-friendly design makes it easy to use for everyone. And with that legacy feature, you can't go wrong. But watch out on the tagging, maybe wait before you go mad, as they may fix the download issue. Also, really consider, is permanent really permanent? But if you are looking for a great one payment option for your photos, then permanent.org is definitely worth checking out. So there's a scoop on permanent.org for preserving your precious memories. Have you tried permanent.org? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And what next? Are you stuck trying to sort your photos into folders? Then why not check out these other videos here on my favorite apps to sorting your photos into folders automatically. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like, a share, and a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.